So today's video, we're gonna take a look at Synology's Cloud Station Server. For you guys who are new, Synology is a great company that makes networks attached storages, NAS, they make routers, different storage solutions, and just a lot of cool features that's built into their software, just as this one. So today, I am using my network attached storage, just as a DS918+, which I have reviewed, and if you guys wanna check that out, go ahead and uh, check out the card in the top right, right now. So, so this video is for anyone who uh, was looking for an alternative to Google Drive, Dropbox, iCloud, or other paid services that requires a monthly subscription that's over time, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. So if you have a Synology NAS, definitely go ahead and set this up. If you're thinking about purchasing a network at that storage, uh, Synology does have a lot of cool features. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to completely set up your cloud server. That way you can access or sync your files on the go, on your desktop, or even on your mobile device. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So first things first, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that red subscribe button in the top right. A lot of cool videos on here, tech reviews, unboxing, streaming applications, anything that I feel that you guys will be interested in. So definitely subscribe, like the video, share the videos, and if you have any questions about anything, go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. So the Synology Cloud Station, this is the icon right here. If you guys do have a Synology NAS and you don't have this installed, uh, best way to check it is to click on the uh, main menu up here. And you'll see all your installed applications. So in this case, I do have the cloud station right here. And I went ahead and dragged it to my desktop. If you don't have it in there, guys, easy to get. Just go to your package center. And you can just scroll down. And you'll see the cloud station right here. So mine's giving me the option to open. That's because I already have it installed. But if you don't have it installed, you will see an install button. So go ahead and install it. And when you launch it, this is what it will look like. So it will tell you that the system is healthy. It's installed and you do have a couple options right here on the left. So this is the overview that we're in right now. So you can see from here, you do have the option to download uh, three applications. So the first one is the Cloud Station Drive. This will be for your computer. So if you guys have a PC or a Mac, the system will automatically detect it and download it to your computer. Today I will be installing this application on my PC. So you do have a Cloud Station backup. So if you guys want to back up uh, your files locally on your PC, you can go ahead and do that. And they do have apps for the DS Cloud which I'll be showing today for my iPhone. So basically you can set this up on your mobile devices, guys, and then you can sync your photos, music, whatever you want, and it will be stored locally on your network attached storage. So next we have the client list, and these are the devices that are currently synced into my cloud station server. So right now I only have my iPhone, and once we install a desktop application, that device should pop up here as well. We do have our logs, not gonna get into that too much. And we do have our settings, so this is where you'll select the folder that you need to share to this. So mine is the cloud folder. You can see that that is enabled. So I also have a Plex folder right here, which is not enabled, but it tells you right here that it can be enabled. So easy to do. All I have to do is highlight it, then I can click enable, and that will be an option for me. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it at the cloud station, the number of versions. So the number of version is basically how many backups it will do until it overwrites the previous version so right now set to 32 that's the default and when it gets to number 33 or the version 33 it will go ahead and just delete version one if that makes sense if you guys don't have a shared folder created for that pretty easy you're going to click on your file station so here's the cloud folder here's my plex folder so all you have to do here is just uh, highlight your main server you're going to create and you can go ahead and just create a new share folder, name it what you like, and then you can use that as your backup folder. Pretty straightforward. So let me get out of this. I'm gonna download the drive for my desktop. Click download. It's gonna say this is downloading for Windows. If you have a Mac, it will say this is downloading for Mac. So just go ahead and click download. And you'll see at the bottom right, it is currently downloading. It's 89.1 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long. So now that we have it installed on our local computer, we're gonna go ahead and set it up. We're gonna hit start now. So you're gonna need to log in with your Quick Connect ID. If you guys haven't done so already, it's pretty straightforward. Let me jump back over to the NAS. So if you don't have Quick Connect, go ahead and go to your control panel. Gonna go to Quick Connect. And you can see mine is right here. I'll probably blur it out, but if it's not enabled, you'll click and enable And if you don't have one, it will give you option to go ahead and log in and register for one. Definitely needed if you have a, a Synology NAS. Offers a lot of features, including access on the go. So must have in my opinion. 
So once you log in with the Quick Connect ID, you will see a screen that looks like this. Basically asking you which folders you want to sync back and forth. So I'm going to sync this test music folder to my NAS and I do have a test folder that I will be syncing it to. So what I'm going to do is just hit the pen right here. I'm on my cloud folder. I'm going to go to test and I'm just going to click OK there. Now we're going to go down to the bottom and I want to select this folder. It's on my desktop, so I'm going to hit the pen again and the photo we're going to sync it to is the test music folder but before you click next guys there's an important option right here now this is saying that it will create an empty cloud station folder in the test music folder to sync to now for me I'm not going to use that option because it's pointless I just wanted to sync the main folder so if you want to create an empty cloud station folder you can go ahead and do so so I'm just going to uncheck this box now I'm going to click OK I'm going to click done and pop up right here Cloud Station Drive is running. So let's go over to the NAS. Here's another pop up. Four files updated. Let me just make this full screen on the NAS again. Then from here, all I'm going to do is go to my folder. I'm going to go to test. And you can see those files are still there. Now let me just make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to click OK here. It's telling you that there's an icon in the bottom right of your screen guys that you can click on to see more options i'll show you guys that in a little bit i'm just going to click ok here i'm just going to drop another file in my music folder and we'll kind of see how long that takes so here we are i'm going to copy a file from off the screen paste it here just dropped automatically updated here all right so orange should pop up here maybe we'll have to refresh the page i'm going to refresh it and there it is right there so works instantly guys uh, no issues syncing over and like i said if you do log in with your quick connect to user id and password you should be able to install this application on any desktop computer so maybe you have a work computer that you want to sync some files over you can go ahead and do so so here we are on the app on the iphone let me go ahead and launch it it is the ds cloud app same basic thing guys you want to log in with your quick connect account let me go ahead and do that then i'll come right back so now that we logged in, we'll see that cloud folder. Let's go ahead and hit the arrow to the right. It's going to drop down. It's going to give you the same two folders. In this case, I want to sync my iPhone picture. So let's go ahead and check that. We're going to hit next. And now we have a couple options. So we can sync folders as well as subfolders. We're going to turn that on. They do have a maximum file size. So if you guys uh, don't want to upload files over a certain size, you can go ahead and check that option you can see you have anywhere from one megabyte all the way up to 10 gigs so let me just back out so automatically set the two-way syncing but if you guys only want to allow uploads or downloads you can go ahead and do that by just checking and you can see you have the different options there let's go back out and further down you do have the option to unselect certain formats so if you guys only want audio or video you can go ahead and do that so for this i'm just gonna get rid of the audio stuff image files and video formats i'm gonna hit done and here we are so the folder is all set up we do have a couple more options that we want to go over so on the bottom of your screen you can see i have recent changes recently opened nothing as of yet but settings does have a couple more options so in settings gives you the account status as well as the type of connection that you have but on the cloud station sync settings cool options here guys you can sync on wi-fi only so if you guys don't want to use your data to sync you do have that option ssl encryption you can verify certificate and you can set up a geofence so in this case you can set up a geofence to automatically uh, trigger your uploads or uh, download so that's an option that you guys can go ahead and set up so let's get back out of it we're going to go back to station if we click on the folder folder is empty in both places switch over to the pc folder is empty there as well from here you can add files both ways all right, so iPhone pictures, let me just drag a photo over here. All right, you can see that was added. And let me just try to refresh this. And there it is right there. Now, same thing, you can upload directly from your phone. It will sync to the cloud. So hit the upload button in the top right. We're going to add. And we're just going to take a photo. So we're going to allow. It's the NVIDIA Shield box. Just going to go ahead and use this photo. Going to click OK. All right. You can see my spike right here in the traffic. And if I refresh this page, it should pop up. 
and there we go so that's it for this video this is the cloud station server from Synology if you guys have a Synology NAS or are in the market for one this is another good reason to go ahead and push towards Synology so if you guys are in the market for a NAS or you have a Synology NAS this is a great tool to save you some money and just having the peace of mind knowing that all your files are on your local network so Definitely, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know. I will be dropping a link to the Synology NAS that I'm demonstrating on in the description of this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.